Good morning, everybody. Thanks uh, for tuning in for coffee break. No coffee mug today, just some water. This video is going to be a little bit different because uh, something I've been very, very concerned about all week, and I wanted to talk to you folks about it. Um, it's been just really bothering me, and that was a uh, the attention being brought to a YouTube channel called Data5, and it was uh, Phil DeFranco who called these folks out on the type of videos that they're creating, the content, uh, and what i seen, which was way more than enough, uh, is a pranks being pulled on the children and that looks to me very much like abuse. And uh, the video in particular is where the parents took and put ink or invisible ink on the carpet and they just laid into this poor kid and they used terrible language at the kid and made the kid cry and he was terrified and you can see it, it wasn't acting uh, at all. You can tell that this was real legitimate fear on this kid's part. And, you know, these people are capitalizing on this. Uh, and I just feel personally that any person who harms anybody in order to be YouTube famous or make a few bucks, whether you're humiliating them, you're abusing them either verbally or physically, or you're making them uncomfortable in order to make yourself get views or put some money in your pocket, I think you're a reprehensible human being. You are a sad excuse as a human being. And YouTube should not be a, a, a place for you. Nowhere should be a place for you. Let me tell you, I grew up with kids who were abused. I've, I've abused. I've seen the abuse as a child. And I know firsthand that this is a lifelong thing that will hurt those kids from now on. Uh, there's just no take backs on anything like that. And yes, he made a response video and, or Data5 made a response video and asked the kids, hey, did you feel abused? Or oh, no, no, no. But I'm also here to tell you that an abused child is not going to argue against their abuser, uh, especially their parents. They're going to say, oh, because it's fear. That's what little kids do. Kids always find a way to blame themselves. For what goes wrong. It's always somehow their fault. That's just the nature of being a kid. And you know, YouTube's a wonderful platform. I enjoy it. I've been making videos since 2008, but I have never, by God, ever hurt anybody, insulted anybody, humiliated anybody in order to get a view on my channel. I never will. I would quit making YouTube videos right now if that's the kind of crap that I would have to resort to in order to gain subscribers and make money off YouTube. That would make the lowest of the lowest human beings out there. Data5 apparently wanted to start a GoFundMe campaign to sue David DeFranco. You see, he's blaming the accuser rather than looking at himself going, what kind of asshole am I? I need help, I need professional help. Instead, he's blaming Phil DeFranco for calling him out on this and started, I believe, a, a GoFundMe page that, uh, as I understand, Jerry Berg, a.k.a. Barnacles, uh, Neurogasm, helped get that page taken down. He wanted to sue David DeFranco for calling him out on the, the crap that he's doing to his own kids. Now, apparently, CPS, according to Data5, CBS, C, uh, CPS uh, has checked in on him before. Nothing was found to be wrong. But apparently, uh, if I understand correctly, they may be getting involved again on, on this video. You have it. You can see this video. I'm not, uh, you know, look them up if you want to. Um, this is horrific. I don't even know if the video is still up. I think maybe they might have took it down. I don't know. We I mean, can certainly see it on Phil DeFranco's uh, channel. But the bottom line is, I feel sorry for anybody that has, has got to resort to that kind of crap in order to get views or to be uh, YouTube famous. It's simply hurting another human being, and God dang it, your own kids, or, or a kid, a kid. Uh, that's just, what the hell has this world come to? Is that what we've been allowing ourselves to, to be, to, to, to hurt children and hurt people for entertainment? I don't understand that mentality. And I, I, was, I suspect strongly most of you that watch my videos would agree with me on that point. I would like your comments down below. What do you think about Data5? 
is this um, war does this does this warrant uh, maybe them having their channel taken out? What should happen to this family? Let me know in the comments down below. Take care.